So we're in primary school, and uh, anyway, they were so close together that at later on in, in their age, at, as an adult, one sort of veered off and went his own way, and, and the other one recognised, hey, my friend's not around. So he went everywhere and did his research, tried to look for his friend everywhere, but he couldn't <laughs> find him, so he went to a medium, a person who obviously uh, reveals these things, and he paid her money, and she was doing all this stuff uh, that they do, and uh, she suddenly said, I found your friend. And, uh, and he says, where? What's that? Where is he? And he says, your friend, on this day, at this hour, your friend died. And he, he, this, this person that was in there was like, this can't be true. And he was grieved. And he left there angry. And uh, he felt like he's got to do something. He wouldn't take that negative report. So he went and did a bit more research. And he knocked on a few other doors over the next few months. And this is a true story. And he finally found a house that he knew that his friend was going to be there. So he knocked at the door of the house. So guess who comes out? His friend that he hasn't seen for almost a year. And he comes up to him. He hugs, gives him a big hug. He says, friend, where have you been? And his friend goes, I've been here. He goes, I thought you were dead. I'm not, a, I'm not dead. I'm here. Well, I went to this person. They actually said that you died. And this day, on this hour, you died. And he says, my friend, at that time, at, on that date, I was baptized into Jesus Christ. I died to my old life. And I'm a new creation. I'm a believer now. I'm a disciple of Jesus. So in the, in the natural realm, this medium could not locate him because we're born from above now. So Satan cannot uh, even come and inflict us anymore because we're born in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what the power of baptism of dying to self and coming up in the new. We're born in the incorruptible sea. And we've got to understand that born again is part of our, 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 our DNA. We actually, all life is no longer part of us. And so when the enemy tries to come and bring us thoughts, we can say, back off, enemy. You're actually dealing with a dead body now. My, and, and he can't come and um, disconnect us from, from you know, who, who we are now as a new creation, as an ambassador, as a minister of God, as a representative and one who reconciles others to God. And that's what we're doing today. We're saying, Jesus, I want to follow you for the rest of my life. And I don't want to look back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no looking back. And then we get to empower to actually go and tell our neighbor, tell our family member that Jesus is alive. And your testimony is a true testimony because people cannot deny that who you were before. And for the rest of our lives, we're going to be a witness to those around us so they too can come in this freedom of serving Jesus. And that's true freedom. When we, be, when we become one with the Lord and we know that now we're serving our King and our Saviour, people are looking for the wrong freedoms. Uh, even the, the people that I come in contact, oh, well, we lost our freedoms in this nation. We no longer have any freedom. Hang on a minute. We're free either way. They can, they can um, imprison us. They can kill us. They can do anything they want. But we're really free inside. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. So I just wanted to share that story about these two friends because it's the reality of what happens to us when we're born in the kingdom of heaven. And we're now a new man, a new, a new um, you know, um, walking in freedom, walking in that who we're supposed to be. And uh, the day that I came to Christ and I started to walk in, in the Lord, my public ministry started within the first few weeks. I began to go and tell people, I said, Jesus died on the cross for you. You need to come to know him. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Would, do you want to be forgiven for your sins? And that was 17 years ago. Till today, I haven't stopped telling people that Jesus actually is the one that they need. They're looking for all types of other things, but they're missing Jesus. So isn't it amazing we can have that um, you know, message of love to others? Amen. Amen. So Sister Joanne uh, has made a decision today. And my sister Bella and Sister Michelle, uh, beautiful new creations today. There's a celebration that happens in heaven. The Bible says, the word says that all heaven stops to rejoice when one sinner turns to the Lord. So there's a big party in heaven today, man. Yeah. So yeah, let's 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 go and uh, yeah, praise the Lord. Do you want to come first?